From the industry's perspective, uh, we have a number of concerns around this particular legislation and I, I pause at this point to point out that in fact the majority of the provisions of this legislation or the amendments to the Act that have been uh, inserted into the legislation are overwhelmingly positive. We think that in general um, the improved regulation of the industry is something that we've been campaigning for for a very long time. This limitation of foreign ownership in the private security industry has uh, no place in ongoing regulation in the industry. It's something that doesn't really fit with the tone and spirit of the rest of the bill. We have um, six broad concerns with the legislation. Number one, uh, we think that the process that was followed to introduce the legislation was flawed. It breaches South Africa's international trade obligations. It's immensely damaging to local and foreign, invest and foreign investment into South Africa. We have reason to believe it's unconstitutional. Uh, there are a number of quite severe unintended consequences that this legislation um, or that the limitation of foreign ownership brings with it uh, in terms of the implementation of the legislation. And mostly, we believe that it does not address the alleged national security concerns that it um, arguably sets out to try and address.